PJ, Hillary, delighted to see you again. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us again. Really Thank appreciate you. it. So you were saying off camera, how are you going to convince PJ to move down to Cork? Hillary, you were saying? I've got a master plan. So it, it, it's, it's not a hard sell. I don't think not. <laughs> it's not a hard sell. Yeah. I mean, the Euros, just the stretch of Euro in Cork is a good thing. You know, yeah. your money goes a bit further as well. Yeah. You're sending and him properties. Oh. And I'm like, I think that this would be good for you. There's plenty of room for the dogs, you know. Six figure estates, million dollar uh, properties. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. looking for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Place that comes with inbuilt staff and all that crack. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Yeah. I can say now, I think I'm talking to Ireland's most glamorous, soon to be grandparents, uh, TV wise. How is that settled in now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just that grandparents bit that course. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the second I said it, I was like, yay, no. Yay. <laughs> but I think, Hillary, you said that when we chat last time, you like, I think Mairead was written as, was it a lovely or a yummy granny or something like that in the script? Oh You're like, gosh. so you got away with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of Orla's lines, actually. It was something about yummy grannies. And I was like, oh. <laughs> you said, PJ, I think before, that the tone's a bit different this season because obviously the family's coming together now with this big announcement, obviously, and uh, with Connor and Linda as well, kind of yeah. burgeon and romance. What was that like to play kind of like more as a family comedy as well, opposed yeah. to the madness? You yeah, know? it's very different because I think this this season is really about, uh, it's about family relationships, I think, more than, you know, the school and mm. what the lads get up to and everything. I think it's really, this series is really about like how families cope with bizarre situations and mm. stuff. So Barry, where in the first series was probably a bit more of a one-trick pony, mm. uh, you know, where he was just chasing the lads and that was kind of it, or trying to keep them away from his daughters. Uh, now it's very much about their relationship and how he has to accept them into their lives and mm. also how Mairead has to accept the likes of Barry into her life because, you know, with a bit of a clash of personalities <laughs> that's there something, as well. Yeah, that's, that's one so, way of putting it. So the two families are very much involved in each other for the whole season. So yeah, it's really different. It is really, really different. But it was nice to start try and be a different sort of character and try and humanise the guy a bit because yeah. I've never been as opposite to anyone before. You know? like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> Feels like a I don't know, you're kind of particular in your own way and that's that's so Barry. Yeah, well that's true, yeah, yeah. Well we're sort of yeah, we have a we have a little weirdo crossovers, yeah. <laughs> and since uh, season one in the film Hillary, uh, you must have so much so many mams coming up to you saying like you, you genuinely are a role model. I think it's just from the way you abuse your children. I say parents are just like, <laughs> I wish I could talk to my kids the way you do. Or more often than not, they kind of go and go, I don't tell anyone, but I, that's how I talk <laughs> to my children. Yeah, it's funny, like, I, you know, in after season one, I had this, this young fellow come up to me and it was so lovely. It was actually just the nicest conversation. And he said that he felt he was raised um, by a single parent, his mom, himself and his sister. And he said it, he felt that it was the first time that it was fully represented on Irish TV a single parent family in, in, in a kind of a real way mm. for them. And they were really proud of that. Yeah. They really, really loved it. And I always felt, God, that was, it was a very touching thing for somebody to say that it really affected their lives, you know, in that way. Yeah. It's not just tragedy as well. That's yeah. what I like yeah. about Mairead and, uh, I was saying Alex, but you know. It's <laughs> yeah. like, but I like that related, it's, it's a single parent family, but it's not tragedy, it's a, just, it's the everyday life. Yeah, it? and they yeah. just get on with it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of, it, 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 there are serious moments, just like this, the first season, which are lovely and tender and nice, but there's also some absolutely outrageous comedy, and it's great to see you basically not being the adult for a second with that yeah. particular scene in season two, but the fight, that must have been great just to say like just to cut loose yeah what was yeah. that like yeah it was really good actually and that when the you know because season one i think you're really establishing the family unit and how Marie has to keep it all together but you know she has to have her time to fall <laughs> apart as well <laughs> that's yeah she really does <laughs> she really starts to fall apart in season two actually it's quite funny um and so there's there's loads of scope for like way more fun than you know to mm. do that kind of stuff but that that particular scene that you're talking about was lots of fun. Yeah, I love that. I was saying to the lads, I love Gavin. He just gets under your skin. He's such a little shit. He's it's the only way you can describe him. He's just oh, a little yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. He's oh, a great actor little as well. rat. <laughs> a rat. He's a rat. And so is his ma. Uh, they are the rats, man. Right? There's a couple of characters that come into this series, and like you know, there's a, endearing qualities in all the young offenders characters. That yeah. come in. you can see the human side of them, but there's a couple of rats in this series. Yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> that's, um, I think uh, what I loved is that they just keep pushing your buttons, PJ. And I have to say, just like uh, Hillary, you do cursing great on screen. You do frustration like to the point of a heart attack is on the cusp. I think better than most I've seen. It's just under the scene, you're just about to flip. Yeah. That, that scene with the lads, uh, I won't say too much, but 
when they go all the way. When they go all the yes, way, yeah. Yes, they go all the way. When what they go was, as far as you could possibly as go. As possibly go, yeah. Yeah, I know. What was that like? It, it's it's weird because I suppose it's it's easy to play in a way because you'd never have to bite your tongue. So the simple fact that they're doing... Because in fairness, when you're filming a scene like that, where they're trying to wind you up, mm. the lads do wind yeah, you up. they do. They're oh, in yeah? my ear the whole time. <laughs> And Chris especially, like, his comes up and he starts whispering straight. And you're like, stop it. The camera's not even rolling. And they get, like, yeah. so you're kind of, and because, like, Barry, when you're filming it, I can't just react and yeah. make myself. So you're kind of, they, they, like, they're really good actors. They know <laughs> how to make me frustrated. Yeah, uh, so really uncomfortable. Right? Really uncomfortable, yeah. So, and the scene you're talking about, I mean, it's the most unnatural place to have two lads <laughs> doing the most unnatural thing. <laughs> and it's bizarre, so yeah. I think it will be with, it'll be one of those TV moments of the year. It'll be on one of those lists, yeah. like, you know, yeah, it's the it's Irish TV scene, moments, yeah. That you'll, you'll see it and you'll never unsee it. Yeah, that yeah. That was my first day filming, actually. No way. In this season, oh, so yeah. I remember saying that. I was like, oh, hey, lads, let's go with that. And nice to see just, it. Yep. See all of you. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of angry thinking about it. I think it's the only scene I don't want to watch. <laughs> PJ, you're the, you're the best method actor there's going. You're like Day Lewis just for like frustration and anger. <laughs> Elsewhere, we've uh, obviously the early seeds of Mairead's romance with Healy. Um, how does that play out for uh, over the next few episodes? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so I mean, obviously in season one, you know, they get together and it's lovely and it's great because you're kind of, you know, hoping that they do. And then season two, it just starts to fall apart a little bit. So yeah, that kind of continues throughout the series. And it gets, there's some very funny moments actually. But yeah, good stuff. It starts to fall apart. And I love. Uh, I don't want to say it. <laughs> away. Yeah, it gets very real now, doesn't it? Yeah, like, it does. you know, like, people get together and it's all the crack, and then all of a sudden you realise you have to deal with the person. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can give her marriage. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a bit like that. You know, you're, you're, yeah, when the, yeah, when the full time is over and you're stuck with a human, yeah, you're like, Fuck this hanging around yeah. that wants you to do things. I think you said it's like even if you love your family, you still want to set them on fire. I think that's yeah, the best way you described exactly. it to me. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's like I love my friends and I love my family, but I don't want to hang out with them. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know his family have never been inside his house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll definitely be moving to Cork now because you won't be welcome back anyway. <laughs> um, also, uh, Billy Murphy, great Shane. Uh, how I mean, he, I think he's. I love all the characters, but I think he's personally one of my favourites just because he can just go anyway. It's like a tornado of destruction yes. when he comes in. How does he kind of factor into P into PJ, into Barry and um, Ray's I don't life? Really have, he's the other side of it, so mm. Barry doesn't really have a relationship. I don't even know if Barry really knows about the existence of Billy Murphy. I would hope for Barry's sake he doesn't know about, <laughs> about Billy Murphy. But, uh, so there's no real crossover there. It's like, if the lads are dealing with his chaos, they're, you know, he's the chaotic one, or else they're coming to me, and I'm the guy with the plank in my bottom. So, yeah. it's, so it does you have the deals with him, really? Yeah, actually, there's uh, Marie and Billy actually have a have a, a, a strong storyline in this series as well. So it's we've gone on adventures, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I can't really say any more than that. Nice yeah, stuff. The, the lads are saying that one of the traditions is obviously the road trip, and we have uh, one close by that plays out a bit of the local rivalry. What was that episode like to film and just get away and maybe see different parts? <laughs> What can we say about it? I don't know what we can say. <laughs> it's just a different part of Ireland. That's it's all. actually, yeah, well, it's that episode, it should be the simplest episode. It's literally, it's the final, it's the final time of the two families decide we, we can take a break and get to know each other and hang out and everything mm. should be real nice and peaceful. And it <laughs> definitely <laughs> does not happen that way. Say, that much, yeah. So it's, yeah. Yeah, warfare. <laughs> but where it comes from, I'm not going to say. Friendly but. warfare. And hopefully. No. Oh, no, no. No. <laughs> no. no, no, definitely not friendly fire. No. And uh, going forward, here's hoping that obviously the film and it was loved and season one was loved and I've seen the first two episodes, season two was great here and I think everyone's going to love it. Would you be interested in keeping the characters going and seeing where the story goes coming back and stuff like that, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. There's so much more to do with those characters and the storylines. You know, mm. there's 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 a whole lot more to do. So yeah. ah yeah, you'd love to crossed. yeah because and you're only getting to know them. Like every time you do something, you get to know it a little bit yeah. more. And it's kind of always the way. As soon as you finish, as soon as you call it's cut and that's a wrap, you kind of go. Oh well, now I know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> I know them now. I get it oh, now. Well, yeah, I know. I get, <laughs> I get it. it now. No, we have to start now. <laughs> until, yeah. So yeah, you'd love to push it on. I can't can't wait to see. It's like pulling your hair out and going grey slowly, becoming grandparents as well, and just fighting each other. You know. So yeah, we do. Hopefully, we can get to see that somewhere <sighs> down the line. Say it, maybe we should sleep. <laughs> 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 Keep you looking young on screen. I don't want to go anywhere. I can't get any angrier. Uh, Hilary, PJ, thanks so much again for Thank taking time. So really appreciate it. Love the first two episodes and really looking forward to seeing the rest. I think everyone else will love them too.